Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at a Wilson Combat Professional. And before we go any further, I'm going to show you that this Wilson Combat pistol is not loaded and we are clear to make this video. So what we have here is a gun that I've shown a couple times on um, a couple videos. I've made comparisons to it, but I've never done a dedicated video on just this one. And this one's kind of cool because this is the very first Wilson Combat that I ever bought. Now, I've always been a fan of 1911s, and I've had a ton of them over the years, folks. And when I first started stepping it up and seeing what the um, difference is in a less expensive 1911 and a higher end 1911 <clears throat> this was one of the companies that i looked to a friend of mine had a wilts combat pistol and i handled it and shot it and i decided that day that i was going to get one so the search was on to see what i could find now i'm a stainless guy i mainly like stainless um, 1911s because they're easily corrected and they don't show any wear or anything like that. So I knew I wanted a stainless one. And I really like like the commander size just because of the looks and the way they feel in your hand or anything. So I narrowed it down so I wanted a stainless commander size 1911. So this one came along and I bought this second hand from a gentleman and I think I got a good deal on it. But I don't think there really is such thing as a real good deal on a Wilson Combat Pistol because they are pricey. And I saw that it said professional on it. I didn't know what that meant. So I figure I'll share with y'all what professional means. So what professional is, is this is a full size frame. So it's the exact same size frame as a government model 1911. And it has a four inch barrel. Now, if... Those, those people that speak 1911 language, they'll understand that a commander is usually four and a quarter inches. And this professional model is four inches. Now the difference is, if you look at the front of this barrel here, on a commander, usually it has a government style barrel bushing on it. This four inch professional does not. This has what they call a bull barrel and there's no bushing on it and i'll go into that here in a second so <clears throat> this one here is a stainless model those are a little bit harder to come by most of them are that armor tough black or some kind of crazy color but you don't see as many stainless ones and folks i'm not saying anything's rare i'm just saying that you just don't seem to see as many stainless welts combats around as you do the black ones so this seemed like the perfect buy to me. Now, what these Wilson Combats do is they do everything perfect. You're going to get a perfect gun. I'll show you some of the close-ups of it where it says Wilson Combat here. Um, here's the medallions. I have changed these grips out. I put the, the very aggressive Starburst grips on them, they call them. They call this pattern the Starburst grips, and this is the aggressive one. You look real close at the texturing, and these are sterling silver medallions in the front. So some of the features, it's got front strap checkering on them, and it's it's fairly aggressive itself. So when you have a muzzle flip, it keeps it in your hand real well. It has a um, checkered mainspring housing, so you have checkering on both sides when you grab onto it. <clears throat> this one's got the extended beaver tail on it. So when the hammer comes down, you know, you're not going to get any kind of hammer bite. It's also got what they call the commander style hammer that Colt actually came out with years ago. And that allows a longer beaver tail and this hammer to rest inside here. So the gun will still function. You know, it's got slightly extended safety. It's got a slightly extended slide stop, a little bit of a raised uh, magazine release on it. And on the beaver tail here, it's got a memory hub. If you can see right here, there's a little bit of lump here. So when you grab onto this thing, there's no doubt that it presses on it. <clears throat> and I'll go over that here in a second of how this thing functions. One thing Wilson Combat does is they put a little bit of an undercut underneath there so you get a real good high grip on this thing. And it's got like Novak style sights, but the sights are made by Wilson Combat. Let me see if I can show you a close up here. Wilson Combat makes all their stuff. So these are Wilson Combat Tritium Night Sights. 
and they have trinity of inserts in the front and the rear and it is checkered on the back here so there's your sight picture pretty neat little pretty neat little pistol here <clears throat> now one thing that wilson combat is known for is they hand fit these guns together they got the top gunsmiths in the world fitting these things together so if you look at the top here the slide the slide the frame fit it's absolutely ridiculously tight as you can see it actually pushes oil out of it when there's oil on it and there is absolutely no side to side movement on this on this slide so one of the things you'll notice when you get a Wilson combat pistol is it's put together so well and I know the camera is not gonna gonna um, relay this ever real well but when you work this thing if you can hear, you hear nothing rubbing. This thing's like it's on ball bearings, folks. It is unbelievable how smooth this, this gun works. And when you open it up, if you look at the inside, if you can see in here, they do a throat polish job on it, and everything just is so perfect on these things. Everything, you don't see any kind of machine lines or anything anywhere on them. Now, the ejector port is lowered down, and it's flared out, and it's done like to perfection it's kind of like buying a swiss watch when you buy a wilson combat now i was explaining earlier about the <clears throat> commander versus the professional model the professional model does not have a barrel bushing in it and if you look real close you can see that this thing's got a flared end on the end it kind of looks like a bell and what that is for when this when this slide closes this thing is hand fit into this slide and there is no movement whatsoever on this thing so instead of having a barrel bushing, it actually fits in there and it's hand fit into the slide. And Wilson Combat makes all their barrels. This is Wilson 45 ECP. They're all match grade barrels and they're the top quality of everything. Now, one of the ways you can tell instantly when you pick up a 1911 to see if it's a good one is to work this thumb safety. You see how positive that is, very tactile, and you can hear the clicks. It's just very distinct when it works. And if you have some pack trying to build his own 1911 on his kitchen table, it's not going to work like this, folks. It's not. You're not going to get that safety. It all has to be, everything on these guns have to be hand fit together. 1911s are not like locks. You cannot put one together on your kitchen table with no knowledge of how the firearm works. They're a little bit more difficult. That's why they work a whole lot better. So if you look at the trigger pull on this thing, you have to have this depressed, of course. This is a safety here. There's a thumb safety. And then you have to have this grip safety. Um, depressed. So if you look at the trigger pull on this thing, this is probably going to be the most exceptional trigger you've ever felt on a handgun, and I'm not exaggerating. With the, with the 1911 period, they all have good triggers, but this one is exceptional. So if you look at this, this is your take up. That's it. And it is probably, well, we've got to take the safety off. We're going to make ourselves look like a fool on here. So we're going to grab this thing. There's your take up. And minimum effort this goes off and it is so 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 crisp and in here your reset is going to be right there goes off again it is unbelievable folks and i know cameras do not show you how well things are on when it comes to testing triggers <clears throat> now the way this thing breaks down it's a lot different it's not a lot different, but it's a little bit different than a conventional 1911. So a conventional 1911, you would take this barrel bushing loose first. With this one, you're gonna cock the hammer back and you're gonna pull back on it just like you would a Glock. And you're gonna line that up and you're gonna hold it there because it's under tension. And you're gonna push your slide stop off and then you're gonna release it. Now you gotta be careful. You gotta hold on to this spring right here and that's how it comes apart. It's just completely different than a conventional 1911. It's actually, once you learn how to do it, it's a lot simpler. And to put it back together, well, I'll first I'll show you the inside of this frame here. You see how well this thing is machined out. There's no mistakes, there's no tooling marks or anything on them. It's just absolutely incredible, the work that they do on this stuff. Wilson Combat. Hats off to them. They don't put out bad stuff, folks. They really do a good job. So in order to put this back together, we're gonna to just do the opposite of what we took it apart. Make sure you hold on to the spring. 
until it gets all the way in here. And then you're gonna line this, the holes up right here. You're gonna push this slide stop back in the hole, make sure it lines up with that barrel length. And then you pull this thing back and hold on to it. And then you line this up without idiot scratching it and push it back in and function test it and make sure it works folks very simple but anyway i've never done a dedicated video on this wilson combat professional and i really like it a lot the four inch barrel takes full size 1911 mags and i always use wilson combat mags and every 1911 i have these are 47 d's they hold eight rounds but really neat gun it's just um, it doesn't have quite all the features that some of my other ones have but it, this is probably top notch folks so this is probably one of my favorites because this is my very first wilson combat 1911 but if you have any questions on this gun feel free to ask like i said i've done a couple i've showed it and compared it to a couple other 1911s on this channel but i've never done a dedicated video to it and I figure I would do that today. But anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching my video today, and you folks have a great day.